Hi viewers, we're here with Dr. John So, co-founder of Fermat Capital. Welcome, John. Nice to be here, Damon. So, uh, Catastrophe Bonds, it's a very dramatic name. Are, are they as dramatic as what they sound? Uh, they, they are not, actually. And it was, it was meant as a form of disclosure, so everybody understands that there are risk in these bonds. Uh, but the risk is actually very attractive, and, and let, let me step back a, a bit. Emphasis on bonds, you know, sure. boring old bonds, right? So it's, a, it's an instrument, a, a debt instrument that you can invest in. You might have three years until your principal comes back, so it's not terribly long dated. Uh, it's got a floating rate coupon. Let's talk US dollars. So one month's T-bill, now around 5%, plus a 10% yield, which is a, a typical yield, yield these days. So um, you know, a very high yield, but none of it's coming from interest rate risk or credit risk. Your principal's being held in US treasuries. Uh, the sole risk is a predefined event like a, a Miami hurricane or a Los Angeles earthquake. And how many of these are out there? How many of these traded bonds? Yeah, the, there's over 300 bonds available in the, in the current market uh, from over 100 issuers. So we have the largest insurance companies in the world, uh, largest reinsurance companies, that's insurance companies for insurance companies. We have governments, the US government, um, the World Bank, uh, we have many state entities, and interestingly, we even have corporates like uh, Alphabet, Google, so oh, to speak. Okay. You know, they, they have a tremendous amount of office space, and they can't buy enough uh, earthquake insurance for it. So they also issue catastrophe bonds the, to uh, cover their office that. space. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent.